What's up, everybody? My name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. Today we have one that I've been waiting for and you've been waiting for. And quite frankly, if you, like a lot of the very cool gang, ordered from our friends over at Ohio Power Tool, you got your hands, if you're watching this video, you probably, and you ordered, pre-ordered, you probably had this in your hands. I'll make a deal with you. How about we go over the specs and unbox ours together? It's going to be a great time. I can't wait. I've been waiting for this for years. All right, what am I so excited about? If you've been following along with the channel, you will know that, number one, I'm a super fan of left line of sight saws, rear handle, worm drive style saws. Quite frankly, worm, worm drive saws have been my, um, like literally corded worm drive saws, skill saw has been my go-to for decades. Decades, pretty much my career, okay? I love them, love them, love them. Okay. Now, I have had some cordless left line of sight tools from Milwaukee. Pretty much they're six and a half saw. I've never pulled the trigger on buying another cordless platform's left line of sight saw or a rear or a high point gear, you know, rear handle, whatever you want to call it. I've never pulled the trigger on getting a seven and a quarter from a different manufacturer than Milwaukee. And the reason is, is that the M18 platform and the M12 platforms are the platforms that are on my truck. I, I, I didn't want to muddy the waters by having that other cordless platform on the truck for my worm drive style saw. I would just, when I, when I needed that worm drive style saw, okay, I needed the big, the big dog, the seven and a quarter, instead of the six and a half, I would plug in my, my, I would plug in my skill saw. That all changes, that all changes. Possibly today. We have the M18 fuel driven to outperform. This is the rear handle worm drive style. It's not a worm drive, but it would be comparable to a worm drive saw in its configuration. This is their seven and a quarter rear handle circular saw kit. It's product number 2830-21HD. Stands for heavy duty. Where does it stand for high demand? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say nothing but heavy duty. Duty. Listen, here's the deal. I'm gonna put some links down below for everybody. Quite frankly, I'm gonna have to just check, but I believe that we have exclusive pricing right now. You're gonna wanna check out for the best price. Check the description. Go and check it out. Now you might wanna still shop around a little bit, but I think we're pretty much we have the best price for you if you wanted to score this deal. Generates 15 amp corded power, but it's faster than corded. Up to 570 cuts per charge. Fits all M18 batteries. Make no mistake about it. If you want the most performance out of this tool, yes, you can put a five amp hour battery on this tool, an XC 5.0, but if you want the most performance, okay, and you want no stalling and po the possibility of kickback, from the tool, you're gonna to want an HO architecture battery on this. Quite frankly, I would go no lower than a six amp hour battery. Six, eight, or 12 amp hour battery is what I would, would recommend for you. Now, I'm saying that without ever putting a three amp hour battery on this tool and testing it. It's something we can do, okay? But I think that six on up should be where you, your range, I think that's where you should that's the sweet spots. Mmm, everybody likes a good sweet spot. All right, now, let's get back. I gotta tell you, I can't help myself. I'm ha I've been waiting for this for years and years and years. I'm so excited today. So, red lithium high output HD 12.0 is included in this kit as well as the saw. One of those batteries, you're gonna get the Combination Rapid Charger does M18, and M12 platforms, charges both platforms, single charger, pretty awesome. 
It comes with a contractor bag. The specifications. Blade size is seven and a quarter. Arbor size is diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Any worm drive or worm style saw blade or saw blade that has the diamond knockout, you're able to use on this saw. No load RPM, 5,800. You know, it's pretty funny. I kind of like say that. People sometimes, you know, you might get the, uh, the helper who doesn't know, you know, oh no, I can't use this saw blade. It doesn't, it's not diamond. It's a circle. It's a 5 8 arbor. You can knock, a lot of times you can knock the diamond out. So keep that in mind. Maximum bevel capacity is 53 degrees. Cut depths. At 90 degrees, it's two and a half inches. At 45 degrees, it's an inch and seven eighths. Length is 18.9 inches, it says, and weights 13.5 pounds. Now, I will say this. This might be one little fact you're not getting from, from, from other sources. We were told with the battery in place, so not tool only, with the battery in place, this saw is actually lighter than the standard worm drive skill saw the corded tool. It's kind of crazy, you're plopping that giant battery on this tool and somehow it's still lighter than the skill saw. Now, it's not lighter than the Mag 77, okay? But it, it is lighter than the steel version. Increased productivity equal to the, the corded 15 amp tool. It's just it's the hieroglyphics, I guess. This is equal to that. It has a power state brushless motor, that was specifically designed for this tool. Now, here we go. This is, I want to see here, faster than corded. Up to 25% faster cuts against its 15 amp corded competitor. Cut speed in double stack three by four OSB. It's pretty funny. We might have some of that here. Up to 570 cuts per charge. It says 570 cuts into two by fours. That's another one. Like, I, I mean, I guess that would be a lot of cutting. But, I mean, maybe we, maybe we test it out. Maybe we do. I gotta tell you, I, I feel like Milwaukee usually has more to read. Uh -huh. Not today. So, let's get it unboxed. And we open the box. And what do we have? And we've got a bag. You know, I like, I like when the manufacturers do that. I like when they have a fully stocked bag. You know, I will say this is a pretty nice bag. This kind of reminds me of one of my first combo kits. I feel like my combo kit was heavier though. The bag is nice, nice nylon webbing here. And it's, this webbing is stitched inside these pockets. And then it has a little, little rivet here at the top. It's the same on both sides. But this pocket kind of does slide all the way through, at least here, not here. Where the Milwaukee logo is, it looks like they don't, they don't stitch down. So over here, this, this stitching keeps these pockets separated. The zipper is not KKY. It does seem pretty robust. It is branded fuel. We open up the bag and we're met with a whole lot of plastic and cardboard. We have the instructions for the rapid charger, which, I mean, I know the rapid charger in and out. I'm gonna set this aside for now. Okay, I'll read it, maybe I'll read it later. We do have the operator's manual for the saw. I'm gonna keep that over here though, just in case. And we have some literature on the M12 and M18 platforms. Okay, pretty cool. If you wanted to go over the offerings and you're a hard copy person, you can do that. We have a bag strap. Okay, we have some nylon strap. Okay, it connects down here. It's like a shoulder strap. I will say this. Definitely in need of some adjustment. All right, there you go. You could, you could adjust it further out. That's where you have more. Seems like it would be perfect. And you have some cardboard here. 
Whoa, look at this. So they have included a, a dust, a vac attachment for the, for the dust chute. I'm gonna put this aside. That's pretty exciting. We have our M12, M18 rapid charger. Pretty cool. Put that right here. Looks the same, fanfare. They do have some literature on how to win a 10 piece combo toolkit or some swag. It says one winner per month for the 10 piece combo kit and one in 10 wins the swag for each month's registered participants. If you wanted to find out about this, go to this video here. Pretty cool stuff. You could win. You could win. Next out of the bag is, the, is a box. We know what's inside here. It's the battery that makes all of this possible. This is the 12 amp hour HO red lithium battery. It's this HO architecture, high output architecture that makes all of these tools possible. Without that architecture, I don't think it's possible. With that being said, this battery weighs in at three pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. Is, is, it, is that a big deal? It could be, depending on where this battery's planted. I will say this, they plant it, and we're gonna show you where they plant it. It keeps the tool balanced instead of awkward. I will say this was shipped to us with one bar. And finally, oh, I will say this. Some more cardboard here. I'm telling you right now, which, which, which is bizarre, like, It is fairly, fairly light. It's pretty funny. With the way the handle is, okay, it feels as though the majority of the weight is out front here. And they, they've balanced the tool by putting that 12 amp hour battery back, back here towards the rear. Unreal. This is really, really, Handsome. Tool only. <laughs> We're looking at nine pounds, 13.8 ounces. Milwaukee has included, I gotta tell you, <laughs> they put, they, they've included their, their 24 tooth, seven and a quarter inch worm drive blade. Now this is not a worm drive style blade. This is a worm drive blade. It's got its diamond knocked out. I will say this, I like this blade better than their, their you ever see their white blades? Leave it down in the comments section below if you've seen the Milwaukee Souls outfitted with the white blades and immediately thought to yourself, hey, is that like a, a paper blade? Like, is that a temp blade? I literally, that's what comes to my mind. Is that a paper blade? It doesn't look real. But they've given me the red, the red and stainless steel with, with mine. Worm drive style rear handle saw. I like that there's a, a rafter hook okay, or, or a ladder hook, whatever you want to call it, okay. The depth adjustment is easy, no hang up there. And so is the bevel adjustment. There's only one thing that I find a little crazy, and maybe maybe I'm not seeing it for some odd reason. No. So there is no preset at 45 degrees. Now, is that a deal breaker? No. It's pretty funny if you look here. They do have this tab that sets for zero adjustment. So literally zero adjustment for any reason ever, ever came out of adjustment, they have a little, what looks to be an Allen set screw here. It's adjustable on the base plate on the, through the inside, so underneath of the magnesium base plate or foot, whatever you want to call it. Okay, you could fine tune your zero. Pretty cool. Now they do have the ability to put a rip guide 
into this saw, they do not provide you with that rip guide. Okay, so it probably will be, you know, an additional 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40, who knows, 40 bucks. I don't, I don't know what the price will be. It is not included. I would tell you to just kind of tighten down that screw a little bit because if you don't use it right away, sometimes from using the saw, it could pop out, go flying, and then you'll, then you'll, you'll have misplaced it. It does come with the tool at the bottom of the saw to make all, I guess, make blade changes and such. I will say this, and I'm not seeing it. I, I like the idea of, of this wrench, I do, and it's Brandon Milwaukee. I, I will say this, and you'll see that the, the, the nut here, okay, is an Allen style nut in the center. Milwaukee, at least in my six and a half, instead of giving a wrench like this, they gave you an, an Allen screw. Now, or an Allen key. Did I say Allen screw? Allen key. Sorry. I wanted to just see if there's any other nuts on this, on this tool that requires this wrench. I will say this, this is kind of throwback if you ask me. I'm not seeing any other adjustment that would require this, but I guess maybe, maybe Milwaukee had these laying around. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but this little screwdriver tab would be used to loosen the brush caps on their old style corded worm drive saw, okay? So they've included these wrenches. Maybe they had surplus, I don't know. Hashtag just saying. Now, we're gonna put the blade on. Here is the blade stop knob right here. So we're gonna push down this button, okay? We're gonna spin. This is reverse thread. We're gonna spin that nut until it comes out. We're gonna pull out the outer half of this can uh, clamp. You'll see, they'll, they'll both come off. You only wanna take the outer one off, okay? You wanna look at the arrows on, on this. This is a worm drive specific blade, and what does that mean? That means that the lettering is nicey-nicey on the outside. If you were to use a standard, if you were to use a standard saw blade, for a sidewinder or a right line of sight saw, okay? The lettering would be on this side of the blade, okay? And, and then you flipped it around, like it would be like a sticker here or nothing, it would be blank like this. But they've included this worm drive specific saw blade so your saw looks very, very sharp. It looks real sharp when you put your blade on. And I, I didn't mean that as a pun either, like sharp, like a, you know what I mean? Like sharp as in dapper. And we're gonna slide that on. We're gonna align our, we're gonna align our blade. Okay, our diamond, shine bright like a diamond. With the diamond on the inner half of the clamp. Okay? Then we gonna let our guard, we'll let our guard down and be vulnerable. We'll let our guard down. And then we're gonna pop the other. We're gonna other half, the outer half of the clamp on, and then we're gonna put our reverse nut back on. We're gonna put our reverse nut back on, counterclockwise to tighten. That sounds counterintuitive, doesn't it? All right, we're gonna press our blade cl clamp back down, and we're just going to snug this up. We're gonna snug this up. We're not gonna over tighten, just snug. Okay, done, blades installed. Now we look like we're starting to mean some business here. We're gonna put our, we're gonna put our wrench back in its spot here on the bottom of the tool. Pretty thoughtful. Now, how many times a video do I say now? Now, I'd like to pop the battery in now that we have the whole package together, right? Let's pop the battery in and see if 
Whoa, look at the light. Look at the light. Nice. Let's see carefully if we can get a weight. I don't know if this, if the, if this scale will do it. It errored out, okay? But for all of you mathematicians, okay, the tool with the blade installed, with the blade installed, it's 10 pounds, 3.8 ounces. Now that you know the weight of the saw with the blade on it, backtrack to find out what the weight of the battery is, right? And all you mathematicians or accountants or people that like playing with your numbers, leave it down in the comment section below. How much does this weigh when you put this in there? Thanks, we appreciate that. Now, I will say this, immediately, it's got a nice bright light. And the light is actuated when you hit the little thumb safety here. Pretty cool. I like the, I, like I said, I like the adjustments on the tool. I like the, the rubber over mold on the handle. And I will say this, this tool is finely balanced. I mean, literally, look at that. I mean, that is pretty amazing. Now, if you wanted to remove the ejection port off of here, the standard ejection port, you could put on this vac attachment. So, I wanna see how easy it is to swap out this dust port in case, you know, in case you wanted to do something like run a vacuum with it, okay? Screw comes out, dust port comes off, Pretty cool. New dust port goes on. Nice. Now, I wonder, I feel like Milwaukee is moving more towards solutions, okay? So, for instance, this vac port should fit their three-in-one vacuum. There you go. So now you have, a you have a solution. The best part is, think about this now. If you're working in a place you need it to be dust free, look at that. The best part is, look, the, the vac hose comes out on the right side. Look at this, you could work all day. Look at this, this is awesome. It's like an awesome, I feel like Milwaukee keeps moving towards creating more and more solutions. Now, it's the first time we're actually it sounds powerful. I wonder how that dust collection works. You know, we're set literally at an inch and a half. Whoa. We're set literally at an inch and a half. I'd like to see how true that, that scale is. I mean, you look at it. It's pretty doggone close. Pretty doggone close. I sometimes wonder though, why do they put this hole here? Why not leave this closed off? So it's, it sucks up all of the, I don't get it. But let's see if it works before I criticize. Okay, number one, 
horrible, horrible cutting height. Could, could definitely be set lower, especially considering my height. Okay, so it was you know, a two-handed operation. Uh, I feel like I feel like it would perform better. I mean, here we go. This is let's talk the positives here. Effortless through the two by four, no problem at all. And I think, quite frankly, it would have no problem ripping sheet goods. We're going to do further testing on that. I will say this. I feel like I feel like. The dust collection could just be could just be better. Now, you know, if if we let's try it again. Like if we close the hole. I think I might take further testing. But as far as the cutting capability of the tool, pretty awesome. And if you like, pretty, pretty awesome tools and unboxings that actually turn into more of a demonstration at this point. Then smash the like button. Also, let us know, did you get your rear handle style circular saw from Milwaukee and Ohio power tool Today, or yet, or when's it come in? How are you liking it? Are you thinking about picking it up? Or are you thinking, ah, you don't need it? You got last year's version that's right line of sight. Let us know down in the comments section below. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty excited about this myself. With that, I wanna say I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Oh yeah, by the way, we have to, we have to, we're going to go nuts and test this thing. So, how do you want to see it tested? Sheet goods, what do you want to see us cut? You know, two by, dimensional lumber, lamb beams, what do you want to see cut? You know, for everybody that didn't click off yet, you're, you're getting your pick. Because you're, you're going to know to leave that comment. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here.